Welcome to part one on how to change a light kit. This is part one, disassembling the old light kit. So this ceiling fan is a fan that didn't come with a light kit, so I got this one, and it doesn't work. And um, I don't really like how it looks. I like the way it looks on some fans, but this fan with that light don't go together really well. Your opinion might differ. But I'm, I've got a light kit like this at my house, and I like it, but on this fan, it just doesn't really look good. So we're going to get a different light kit for that reason as well. Other than the fact that it doesn't work. So, before you touch anything with electricity, make sure you turn off the power. Not just the light switch. The switch in your breaker box. And make sure you check the circuit with a voltage tester. Otherwise, if you don't, you're not going to know if your world may go up to 150 candle power for a couple seconds or it might just kill you outright, which is a very real possibility considering that this is 110 volts. Make sure your breakers are labeled. We have two rear bedrooms. Number 10. We have disconnected the power to that bedroom, so now we have to go check and see if the ceiling fan has turned off. And it appears that it has turned off as it is slowing down quite substantially. So that tells me we have no power in this bedroom. The phone is on, but that's because it has a battery backup. Yeah, there's no power, no vibration, it's off. And I haven't altered the pull chains. So first, uh, I'm just gonna remove the, it's kinda hard to do it while I'm holding the phone the little chain with the fob. And then I'm gonna remove the light globe with these le three little screws on the sides. There are three of them, so I'm just gonna remove that really quickly. You just finger, you just unscrew these with your fingers. Whoa, wow, came right out. Yeah, <laughs> almost dropped it. That's okay, I'm returning this. Startled me though the noise it made. Looks like I got a kit with a bad pull chain. I'm also going to remove the light bulb. So now we have the light kit off. So Sorry guys, I'm trying to unscrew this while I'm holding the phone. So, I might not be doing a very good job. My apologies. But it has three little screws here and here. I'm just gonna remove this screw, set it right here on my ladder. I'm gonna set the phone down so I can unscrew the other two screws. So, unscrew, now I'm going to unscrew this back one, so that I have to lean over quite a bit to see it. This light kit will drop. Uh, don't let these wires come out and scare you and you fall off the ladder. It could fall and knock you out and you fall off the ladder, you just don't want to do that. So, I'm holding it up with my head right now so I can get it on camera. So, so, we have absolutely no power coming to the circuit. And uh, I have very quick reflexes. So I'm just nothing. Make sure the wires are with the corresponding colors on the fan. And then I'm just going to untwist it. Should come fairly easily. Oh, got it. Finally. Okay. 
and I'll set the light kit down here. Make sure you always, even though, do not ever turn the power back on when you're at this point. Now, if you're not going to put a light kit back on, make sure these are successfully capped off. Otherwise, we're in for a rude awakening. I'm going to cap that off. Make sure you don't cap them off together. Because if there were, if the power were to come back for some reason, you are going to have a problem. Make sure they're screwed on tight. Trooper, you startled me. All right. So, now, when you're coming down, we're not done yet. We're going to come right here. We got the light kit. I'm going to sit on the floor so you guys can see. So here's the light kit. Keep this top part. There's a little lug nut in here. I have to go get some pliers. So your fan might have come with a light kit. You didn't have to purchase it separately. But there is going to be a lug nut in here most of the time. I'm going to remove that lug nut. And then this should... This should be threaded as well, so we're just going to unscrew it. Some pieces it will spin off. So there we are. How to change a light kit part one. Disassembling the old light kit. I hope you enjoyed the video. And make sure to watch part two when we put the new light kit on.